ये बिस्मिल रहीम दिस इज़ अब्दुलरहमान काही एंड यू आर वाचिंग एनिमल्स प्रोडक्शन प्रैक्टिस इन आवर टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन द बायोलॉजिकल टेक्निक्स बीइंग यूज्ड इन द एनिमल हजबेंड्री एज वी नो बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज़ अ वेरी वेस्ट सब्जेक्ट इन्वॉल्विंग a lot of techno uh, techniques or technology but we will be discussing or focusing only on the techniques related to the animal husbandry what is biotechnology application of biological knowledge to practical needs application or use of living organism to make useful products this is biotechnology now the types of the uh, biotechnology are the reproductive biotechnology which is including the technology of artificial insemination embryo transfer sex control another technology related to biotechnology which is based uh, are uh, totally the uh, totally depending on the molecular molecule those technologies are dna fingerprinting and marker assisted selection and gene transfer these are the molecular technologies being used in the field of biotechnology reproductive technologies the very first one was artificial insemination what is artificial insemination it is the long term semen storage without loss of viability for promoting conservation of endangered species preservation of only half genotypes requirement of secure cryo preservation facilities the next technology is artificial insemination or embryo transfer artificial insemination is to sires while embryo transfer is to dams it allows a dam to have tens of progeny it is a collection of embryos from donor females super ovulation which means release of sub more eggs than normal embryo transfer involves the steps of insemination then embryo collection transfer of embryo transfer of embryos to recipient females immediately are frozen for transfer at a later date this is the graphical representation of the embryo transfer are the breeding cycle what are the advantages of these technologies allow the animal to have more of spring than normal it provide breeders access to select individuals increasing the accuracy intensity of selection for females safest way to import or export germ plasm preservation of germ plasm for the future as embryo is a whole individual freezing and storing not only preserves individual genes but gene combinations as well an extinct population can be recreated from embryos in just one generation these are the advantages of embryo transfer or the artificial insemination however these technologies are also having thus some limitations the very first one that is number of offspring per parent are fewer than with artificial insemination meant to say the accuracy and intensity remain smaller 
Identification of superior candidates for embryo transfer is be difficult because of small amount of data available. More difficult and costly than artificial insemination. Donor and recipient must be in good breeding condition. Ovulation of recipients must be synchronized with that of the donor. Success rates are highly variable. These are the limitations. Next technology is sex control. Determination of sex of an embryo by removing, removing a few cells and examining the chromosomes. Sorting sperms carrying a male sex hormone sex chromosome from sperm carrying a female sex chromosome. What are the advantages of sex control technology? Sex control has economic benefits. It enables to know the sex of offspring ahead of time will inevitably affect selection and mating decisions. Important in crossbreeding systems. Developing males that are capable of producing offspring of just one sex. The limitations or the disadvantages of sex control technology are Sorting rates are currently too slow to make sexed sperm commercially viable. The next technology is cloning. It is the production of genetically indivi identical individuals. Greatest potential to change conventional breeding. Commercial herds and flocks can be replaced by clonal lines, populations of individuals. Small scale cloning is possible now in the developed world. This is the procedure of cloning in which somatic cells and the egg cells are going to fuse to form clone. However, the nucleus from the egg cell is removed and the denucleated cell is going to be fused or united with the nucleus with the somatic body cell. Another technology that is embryo splitting, which is also known as bisection. Cutting an embryo in half to produce twin embryos, which can then be transferred to recipient females. Embryo splitting produces only two identical offsprings. Advantages of This technology is also having some advantages. Jump in genetic merit. Genetically average to genetically elite. Uniformity of performance increases for many traits. Large scale cloning can increase accuracy of selection. The limitations of this technology is loss of genetic variation necessary for future improvement. Excessive inbreeding. Clonal line can be susceptible to a particular pathogen or environmental stress, resulting in an epidemic or widespread loss of production. It is also a time consuming technology. It can produce abnormal newborns. It is expensive technology. Same sex mating. <clears throat> mating of animals of the same sex nuclear transplantation embryo transfer and nuclear fusion theoretically possible to create animals whose parents are both bull or both cow bull x bull mating result in one cow 
if we are having the cross of bull versus bull then the cow may be produced a third kind of offspring containing two bull sex chromosomes would not be viable cow x and if we are now going to have a cross between cow and cow then it may produce all cows mating individuals to in themselves to create inbred line is also possible the advantages of the this technology is it increase the rate of genetic change by increasing the accuracy of the selection and selection intensity the limitation is of this technology is same sex mating is not currently feasible in mammals chromosomes from both male and female origins are necessary for normal fetal development dna fingerprinting for animal identification it is the laboratory method for geograph for graphically characterizing an individual's dna creating a genetic fingerprint unique to in each individual sample of the blood or other tissue is taken dna is extra extra extracted from that blood then segments of dna that are polymorphic are chemically copied and placed on a gel electric current is passed through the gel the resulting pattern resembles a product barcode the pattern of bands represent the presence of specific alleles at a number of loci combination of bands are unique for every individual except identical twins the most closely related two animals are the more their dna fingerprints look alike advantages of dna fingerprint technology are percentage identification parent identification determination of an animal's breed composition increase in accuracy of selection prevent the errors of in pedigree recording breed data banks could conceivably be expanded to include information marker assisted selection selection using genetic markers detectable genes or dna segments closely linked to gene of interest construction of gene maps the advantages of the marker assisted selection is determination of homo or heterogeneity of simply inherited traits selection for economically important polygenic traits and with in or across species gene transfer is possible these are all the biotechnology techniques being used in the animal husbandry field so that's all about today lecture if you are having any question you may ask in the comments thank you very much